section 6.3 multiplying matrices so the question is what we're gonna do in this section the whole section is gonna be about learning how to multiply matrices that's what this section is about how to multiply matrices um, the second question can we multiply any two matrices by each other are, are we allowed to do this the answer is no we can't so let's start with this say we have a matrix first matrix m by n so the size of the matrix or the dimensions m by n and i need to multiply it by another matrix let's say m by t can we do this well the answer is yes we can actually no m by this is n we can multiply these two matrices because this whatever the first matrix ended up with and the second one started with if they match if there's a match then we can multiply these two then we're allowed to multiply and the answer will simply be the m by t matrix m by t so not all matrices um not all the matrices can be, can be multiplied by each other we're only allowed to multiply if the m and m they the whatever the first one ends up with and the second one starts with these they must match and the answer would be m times t m times t so let's say we need we would like to multiply two matrices two three five one by one two well let me make it three one three two four so am i allowed to multiply these two well two by two and that's two by two so these match that's fine so okay, i can multiply it and i expect the answer to be a two by two matrix two by two matrix and watch how we, i do this the way i do it uh it's two by two so it's going to be some number here some number here some number here and some number here to give me two by two how do i multiply matrices the way we multiply matrices we say row by column so row by means times column what does that mean you take the first row multiply it by the first column and how do we multiply that out we multiply the first number by the first number like two times one is two plus second number three by the second number two six so row by column row by column and now we are going to multiply the same row by the next column same way multiply the first entry two by five uh, by three that's six and three by four that's twelve so multiplying row by column, row by column. So I'm done with the first row. I took the first row, I multiplied by the two columns. Now I'm going to take the second row. This is the second row and do the same thing. Multiply by the first column. So we multiply five times one is five. And one times two is two. So five plus two. Now we're going to multiply the second column by the second, uh, second row by the second column. 5 times 3 15 and 1 times 4 is 4 so let's see what we get we get 8 here we got 18 we got 7 and 19 notice it's a 2 by 2 matrix 2 by 2 matrix let's look at another example multiply 7 2 3 4 by one five two zero am i allowed to multiply them yes the dimensions match now if i'm you i would pause the video and then i try to multiply them out before i start looking at the solutions so now let's see how do you multiply this this should be two by two and two by two so i expect to end up two by two matrix so there's going to be an entry here, another entry, another entry, another entry. So let's see how we multiply this out. Row by column. 7 times 1, 7. 2 times 2, 4. So I hope everyone's getting this. 7 times 1 
and two by two. So imagine you take the first row, put on the top of the first column and the second one. So seven goes with one, two goes with two. You multiply them and add them together. We now go with the same row, but the second column. Again, seven times five, 35. Two times zero is two, uh, sorry, zero. Now the next, I'm done with the first row. I multiply by all the columns. Do the same thing for this one. Three times one, three. Four times two, eight. Now three times five, 15. Four times zero, zero. And now we add them up. We get 11, 35, 11 again, and 15. So that's the result, two by two matrix. Now let's look at another example with different dimensions here. Let's say we're asked to multiply negative one, a matrix with these entries, times 4, 6. So what do we have? One row by two columns, two columns by one row. Notice they match. Since they match, there's going to be one by one matrix. So just, it's a matrix. One by one means only one entry, like this. So how do you multiply it out? Row by column. Negative one by four, negative four. Two by six is 12. So that gives us eight. So it's a one by one matrix with entry just eight. Let's look at another matrix. One, two, three, four, five, six and 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 3. Multiply them. Am I allowed to multiply them out? Let's see. This is three rows by two columns. This is two columns by three, uh, two columns by, uh, two rows by three columns. See this match. And now we're going to have to end up with a three by three matrix. So this is gonna equal to three by three matrix. So three by three means one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. So row by column. So this row by this column. That will give me the first entry. One times zero, zero. 2 times negative 1, negative 2. 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 0, 0. 1 times 0, 0. 2 times 3, 6. Next one. 3 times 0, 0. 4 times 1, negative 4. This times this. 3 plus 0. 0 plus 12. Next row. This row by the first column. 5 times 0, 0. Five, uh, 6 times negative 1, negative 6. 5 times 1, 5. 6 times 0, 0. 5 times 0, 0. 6 times 3, 18. And let's see what we get. What we get? Negative 2, 1, 6. Negative 4, 3, 12. Negative 6, 5, 18. And notice it's a 3 by 3 matrix. Let's look at another one. Multiply, if possible, at all times. 2, 7, 1. In negative set, 11, negative 7, 3. Multiply it by 1, 0, 4. Negative 1, 7, 4. 8, 9. Don't go ahead and start multiplying. Make sure it matches first that I'm allowed to multiply and second, what would be the dimensions if we're allowed to multiply? What are the dimensions of the result? Well, let's see. This is two rows by three columns. This is two rows by one, two, three, four columns. These match? No, do not match. They, they don't match. Since they don't match, we can't multiply. 
So we can multiply. It's just, it's not allowed. We're not allowed to multiply them. How can we apply the multiplication in a problem? Let's say we're asked to solve for x and y the following 1 1 1 negative 1 multiply this matrix but matrix x y equals another matrix 15 negative 3 15 negative 3 how are we gonna how are we gonna solve this well I can't set in the previous section, we, we mentioned or stated that two matrices are equal if the corresponding or first the, if the sizes are the same and the corresponding entries are the same. But here I have a multiplication operation on the left side. I can't, I can't do anything with the left with the right for now until I multiply the first two matrices on the left side. This is two by two, two rows by one column. Notice they match. So that's going to give me two rows by one column so it's only one column two rows like that okay so multiply row by column one times x x plus one times y y one times x x minus y and that's for the left side the right hand side stays the same for now now how do we use this well now they have two equal matrices from the previous section two equal matrices if and only if the corresponding entries are the same. So the x plus y, which is one entry, equals 15 from the right side. And x minus y, it's one entry from the left, equals negative three from the right. I got a system of equations. It's so easy to solve by elimination, adding them up. Two x gives us 12, x is six. And then we know that x plus y is 15. Substitute the six in, plus y is 15. So y is 9. So we were able to find x and y using um, the multiplication first, and then what we learned in the previous section about equal matrices. So this is what this whole section is about. It's about learning how to mul multiply matrices. When am I allowed to multiply matrices? And if, I'm, if I can, how to multiply them? And how do we apply them? We apply them in a contest here with system of equations. It could be... You can apply this to not just two by two equations, but it could be three by three, four by four, any any uh, kind of system of equations. You're allowed to multiply these matrices on the left side and equate them with the right side and solve for the variables.